Okay, so now the fun part, the binding. So I changed my thread to match my binding because I'm using a cream color binding and then you won't see it. Um, you want to take your binding tape, open it up flat and fold down, I don't know, about an inch or so. Put that along the seam that we're going to be binding. I like to do this around the outside of the bag so it'll be on the bottom. So clip that raw edge all the way around. You're going to do this with the whole binding all the way open. This is pre-made binding. You can make your own and do it the exact same way. But go ahead and clip that all the way around. Just matching up the raw edges there. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I've just overlapped where we started. I have cut it and I have folded that other end with over about an inch and we are gonna line it up with the one underneath, keep them open, and that's gonna get enclosed within the seam. So that gets rid of the raw edges on either side of the binding. Now we are gonna put this down. So the binding is down on the machine we're going to have to make sure that it stays in place as we do this and we are going to sew that edge of the binding on with a quarter of an inch seam allowance but you are going to have to be very aware that that binding is staying flat and not folding up and catching the other side of the binding we just want to catch that one raw edge while we do this and especially where uh, the binding starts and stops. Make sure you catch all of that in so we don't have any raw edges hanging out and about. So just go through it clip by clip. Again, zipper foot is very helpful with this. I, I would always put on a zipper foot to do my binding. I guess you could also hand base this on or use staples as well, but this is the way I like to do it. Okay, so you're going to go all the way around um, securing that raw edge of the binding in place with the edge of the bag. Okay, so we have that all done. Just double check that the binding was caught all the way around, uh, that it didn't get folded up onto itself, uh, that all worked out well. So now what we're going to do is you want to take that uh, other raw edge of the binding, you're going to fold it into the center and then fold it again over top of 
that seam. So you want that raw edge to be folded into the center of the binding tape. It should go there naturally and then take that whole edge and enclose the raw edge of the bag, flipping it over to the other side. Just like this. So we have no raw edges there. So you have the folded side of the bias tape or the binding tape over top of our uh, sewn together edge. Kind of match up where our joins were to make sure they're nice and even. And then fold it over. Sorry about my arm here, guys. Okay, so. I said if you're using pre-made binding tape, it kind of does this naturally. So just clip that in place and clip it all the way around doing the same thing with the tape, folding it upon itself and then over that raw edge of the bag. Now you can see that on the side that we had sewn, you can still see some of my uh, stitching. That's okay. It's not going to be able to be seen in the bag. It's going to be... Um, right in the creases of the interior of the bag and they won't be noticeable at all. So continue to clip around. And when you get to the zipper tape, be very mindful of where the teeth are, especially when we start sewing, because we are gonna be sewing this with a 3 8 of, of an inch seam allowance. So we're going from a quarter inch to 3 8 of an inch. So you want to make sure you are not sewing over your teeth and that you are keeping your stitches as close um, or as easy, even as possible as we go over that zipper tape. Um, if this was a bag that didn't have the zipper panels there, you wouldn't have to be as careful. It's a little bit more forgiving, but because this bag that I'm working on does have the zipper panel, you just have to make sure you're not sewing over your teeth. So there we go, easy peasy. I said there's nothing to be scared of for binding. It's actually pretty easy and sometimes it um, makes for a faster assembly of the bag, but for a barrel and especially um, bowler bags, it just gives such great structure. Okay, so what I do here is I take my zipper foot and I line my, my foot right up against the edge of the binding and then just follow that all the way around. But again, when you get to the zipper, make sure you're mindful of where the teeth are. But if you're using 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, you should be good to go. So just go ahead and stitch this in place all the way around. All right, we are in the home stretch. Now, all we have to do, once you make sure that that binding was caught everywhere, is turn the bag right side out. The very first thing I check is just double check the zippers to make sure I didn't run them over because then you can go ahead and uh, tear out that stitching and redo those areas. But if they look good, said mine look okay. So I'm just gonna push the whole bag out. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to turn, but uh, just work at it, push out those seams, and you should be golden. Once we have this all pushed out, you're just going to see how wonderful the binding is there to give the rounded edges a nice crisp look. And it helps a lot with the structure as well. It just has a little bit of bulk there, and it just, uh, I don't know, 
I used to be horrified of binding. I am not anymore. I am a big fan of it, especially when it comes to these barrel or bowler bags. It just is awesome. So there we go. That is the binding. Absolutely, completely all done. That wasn't so bad.